This video is just going to be a little practice on uh, nested loops. If you already feel like you understand nested loops quite well, uh, feel free to skip this video. Right, let's get into it. So, what is a nested loop? A nested loop is a loop within a loop. There may be more than one loop within a loop and there may be loops within loops within loops etc etc so what i mean by that is you can have a loop inside a loop a loop inside a loop inside a loop you can have 15 loops inside one loop but none of the loops being inside of each other um, i'll show you what i mean with that so i'll say for i in range 0 to 5 print i plus 1 and then for i in range uh, we'll say 0 to 2 print i uh, we'll say i2 actually we'll print i plus one plus i2 which is actually we'll say we'll say to three the first i2 is actually going to be zero so we'll actually say i2 plus one as well and then we'll put for i3 in range zero to three copy and paste this and just replace i uh two with i three just gonna have to put that there and let's see what we've got what's what's wrong with that that syntax is fine shut up okay and yeah you can see so first of all we print one because we print i plus one uh, then we print two three and four and then we print two three and four again so we print print i plus one when the first iteration of this uh comes off uh plus i plus one so the first i is zero uh, sorry the first i2 is zero so that's gonna be i plus one which is gonna be one uh plus one yeah and then the second one it's gonna be plus two so it should be two three and four and this is going to do the exact same thing as the first one will do okay so we should get one for this print out for the first uh, of this loop and then two three four plus two three four okay and this is because what has happened here is this loop here is not inside of this loop here it's only inside the first loop so this happens three times then this happens three times for every iteration of the first loop this doesn't happen three times by three times by five times because it's outside of this loop. If I want to put it inside of that loop, I have to indent it. And I also have to indent this, but I'm not going to do that. So we can see here that part continues. I is two, three, four, five, three, four, five, and then that'll be three, four, five, six, four, five, six. Yeah, four, five, six, four, five, six. You can see here. I haven't put any uh, string text, just wanted to kind of show something quite basic. So you can put as many loops inside of each other as you want, and you can put a loop within a loop within a loop as well. Um, oh yeah, you can put any type of loop inside of any type of loop. Any type of loop can be put into any other type of loop. So we could put for i in range 0 to 10. Um, we'll have to make a variable for that, for this this one. Um, we'll say, we'll say while none, okay? Um, we'll call it 1. We'll say while... Um, I don't know, while i less than 
sorry, while while num less than i times three. What should we say? I plus one. I plus one times three. So the first I would be zero, then it would be three, yeah. Excuse me. That's very naughty. Right, so basically what this is gonna do, this loop is gonna hold um a bunch of times, yeah. And whilst I or whilst while num is less than I plus one, which is one times three, uh, this line will execute, yeah. And then when I becomes, you know, one, this becomes two times three, blah blah blah. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna print uh, while num is equal to da da da, and we're gonna put the string of while num. It doesn't matter that I've spelt while num wrong in the print statement because this is just string text. It's not actually the variable name, uh, but it's bad that I've done that. And then we're going to put while num is equal to while num plus one. There's a much easier way of doing this, but I always manually do this uh, for reasons I won't go into here. And if we do this, we can see that there. So it has uh, printed 29 statements there, 29 statements. So it could have printed 30 if while num was equal to zero, um, but while num is not equal to zero, so it's only printed out 29 here, yeah? And really forget about the, uh, the math involved, all that. What's important here, or what I'm trying to demonstrate is that this while loop can be used within a for loop. Uh, you could use a for loop within a while loop, but I can't really think of a case where you where, where I'd need it right now. I can't really think of a simple example, and it's not that relevant. All that's really relevant is that you remember that you can put a for loop in a while loop and a while loop in a for loop. You could put five while loops together inside of the same for loop, whatever you want to do. But the point is you can put any type of loop in any type of loop okay so it doesn't matter that for and while are different loop types all right another thing to remember is how rapidly um things multiply okay so we'll put for example i uh, num1 equals 1 num2 equals 2 and we'll do the same for loop that i did before for i in range uh 0 to 10 da, 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 for i in range 0 to 10 and we're going to put that inside of itself many times or should we put range 0 to and we'll put 10 into a variable so we'll put amount underscore times we'll put that as 10 yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, actually. So I'll copy and paste that. The, the reason I'm going to do this is just so that if uh, you at home want to change this number to, I don't know, something ridiculous like 100, because um, you're decidedly bored, you can do that. But I'm not going to change it to, say, 1,000, 2,000 or whatever, uh, because I, won't, I just won't be able to run this. I'll explain to you why after I finish typing out the code. So... We're going to print, I don't know, we'll print uh, iteration number da 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 plus um, str of i plus 1 of the first loop. Okay. And then we're going to print. What's going on there? Why is that not working? That's fine. Print execution number da -da -da -da. 
plus str and we're going to use num1 it's num1 is essentially going to be used as a counter and we're going to put of the code in the second loop now i actually did this in one of the videos before and you know i don't necessarily need to do it here Um, but the reason I'm going to do it here is just so that I can demonstrate to you just how important it is to remember how quickly um, these become more costly or how, how, how these things multiply and how that really will make a difference uh, to what you do. Now, the next thing I have to do is actually, why is that doing that? That shouldn't be doing that. I should actually just be um yeah i just making these numbers higher so i need to put num1 oops num1 is equal to num1 plus one and then we'll say num2 is equal to num2 plus one i have no idea why these haven't been indented but they should be indented um for i in range that okay so if we execute this it should work if it doesn't i'm going to be really upset it has worked it has worked it has worked so i'm happy about that i'm not sure why it executed a thousand and one times um yeah not sure at all really doesn't really matter why I executed a thousand or whatever times, to be quite honest. All that matters is you can see how many, how much uh, this is executed, you know. It's executed a lot, you can see. And if you were to change this value to a thousand, okay, we'd say that this uh, will execute. Oh, that's why. That was supposed to be one. Okay, so it executes a thousand times. So because this is ten times, this first this first loop executes ten times here. Um the second loop executes this amount of times times this amount of times, which is a hundred times, because it's ten by ten. And this third loop, because it's inside the second loop, executes the amount of times times however many times this will execute altogether so it will actually execute this amount of times times this amount of times times this amount of times so 10 by 10 by 10 all right if we change this to a thousand which we won't because i'm not sure my computer can run it probably can but it'll be really slow it would then be a thousand times a thousand times a thousand so this would this first loop would execute a thousand times the second loop would execute a million times because it's a thousand times a thousand and then it would execute a billion times so you can see how quickly that multiplication really adds to the amount of uh, executions of the code if you want to test this yourself as i say you can replace this with a thousand you could replace it with ten thousand a hundred thousand um your computer might not be able to handle it this your console might just stop executing because it's too uh too hard for your computer or your virtual environment whatever you're using to actually run the code and this is why we have to think about just this sort of exponential multiplication as we go through a loops within loops within loops and um, because there comes a point where either it becomes too slow to run because it's just too many executions that it's trying to do or it becomes impossible to run because your computer doesn't have the random access memory or the CPU to just keep pumping this kind of uh, stuff out. All right. Those are really the main concepts. I've, I've got nothing else to show you. I've already shown you the list within a list within a list. Just kind of try to remember, you know, these little lessons. This, like I say, this, the numbers are quite important. The idea that you can put you know, any type of loop within another type of loop is important. And the fact that you can put two fours in one 
loops. So you can put two loops within one loop without putting either of the loops in the other. So this is separate from that. It's not within that, but it is within this loop. Okay. So there are various ways um, that you can arrange your nested loops. And there are things to remember like this. This is the most important thing. I cannot stress enough how important this is. Uh, the other thing I showed in the list one was just be careful of how you write your code. You know, think about your errors. And that's it really. Hope you enjoyed.